I just found my first attempt at building a custom made tree. I hope you guys are ready for this. Ta-da! <laughs> it literally looks like a piece of broccoli stuck inside a toilet roll. Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jerocraft and I'm just so excited today because we have just found a long lost hard drive with over 100 Minecraft worlds, most of which have not been opened in over 8 years. These Minecraft worlds are just so old that Minecraft can't even detect what version they were built on. In fact, I don't even know what half of these Minecraft worlds even contain. So I think you guys know what we're going to be doing today. We're going to go one by one through each and every one of these Minecraft worlds to find out what kind of builds I was up to eight years ago. So guys, without further ado, let's begin today's adventure. Okay, so I think it's time we expose your old worlds and criticize them. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of Minecraft worlds to get through, so we're going to start from 2012 and gradually make our way to the more recent years. And by recent, I mean like 2014 recent. But I'm just really curious to find out more about this world, which was created way before I even started uploading videos to YouTube. So guys, let's just jump straight into this. I'm begging for this to work. Finding this world was like a dream come true. Seriously, no one's ever seen this before. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on. That's kind of strange. I honestly thought I was still alive, but apparently not. Okay, don't panic. I did some investigating and it seems I did cheat my way out of hardcore mode back in the day and created a few backups. Now, I'm taking a look around this Minecraft world and I don't quite understand how I died, considering I died somewhere around here, which if we take a look at the replay mod, you can see I've built a wall around this entire village and it literally covered everything in torches. There's also like these random pyramids outside the village, which I honestly don't recall ever building. So that's kind of creepy, but then again, I did build this world eight years ago. But what I'm really desperately trying to find is my underground base. I know I built it somewhere around some mountains, but I just don't remember exactly where it is. Now I have taken a look at the map using World Painter and it does get even stranger because you can't actually see the pyramids surrounding the village, which makes absolutely no sense. But still, no sign of the entrance into my underground base. <sighs> You know what guys, I have just wasted three hours of my life because the entrance into the base was staring at us this whole time. I know it's kind of hard to notice, but as soon as I saw this waterfall, I knew that the secret entrance was somewhere around here. Now there are two levers, let me just see if I remember how to get this to work. Okay, so that stops the water from flowing and this should open up the secret entrance. Okay, maybe I should have waited for the water to stop flowing. By the way guys, this is my genuine reaction, okay? I have not been in here in over eight years, so we're about to experience this together. What's this? Okay, that makes sense, and it's kind of helpful because I feel like I'm being followed everywhere I go. It, it is hardcore survival after all. So this is the first room. Now, I do remember building this first living quarters, but apart from that, I don't know what else to expect from this build. We have leaves across the ceiling, which is kind of a nice decorative touch. I think I'm just going to go around opening doors to find out what we've got. So that is the enchanting room. Let's see what we've got in here. This is the bedroom, and what do we have? artistical paintings apparently okay that makes sense i used to name every single chest music records food supplies cooking supplies unfriendly mob drops friendly mob drops raid shadow legend supply i'm kidding i just put that there there's no way i'm doing a sponsor please stop emailing me so anyway, from this point onwards, I really have no clue what to expect from this build and it seems to be turning out way, way bigger than I thought it was. I don't remember any of this. It looks like we have even more storage. Let's see what we have down these stairs. The furnace blacksmith. Yes, I kind of remember this. We have a giant furnace. We've got some lava flowing down the back. I feel like there should be some furnaces across the wall, but oh, <laughs> never mind. And let's just see what we have in here. More storage. This entire base is a gigantic storage unit. Blocks of solid iron. Blocks of solid gold. Blocks of solid diamond. <laughs> wow, I'm just so poor. Right, guys, I think we should move on because I feel like we've spent way too much time on this build. Let's see, we have agriculture farming. If you haven't noticed already, I was extremely OCD and everything just had to be well organized. So we have all the different farming areas separated by different rooms. But apart from that, I don't think there's much more left to see on this Minecraft world. 
ball. Actually, I must have made a mistake because I thought this led back to the entrance, but it seems we have even more down here. This seems to lead down into the mines. We have a dog. He doesn't have a name. Oh, I can't actually seem to get him to stand up, which is really strange because that kind of means I don't own him. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, to be honest with you. Like, this entire world has been incredibly nostalgic, but at the same time, it's giving off this really strange and creepy vibe. Like, this doesn't even seem to be finished, so I don't actually think it's worth going down there, guys. So I jumped onto the replay mode just to make sure we did not miss out on anything. And apart from the endless amount of torches and tunnels, that is about everything, guys. Okay, now this is going to be interesting because we have a Kingdoms of Greymane Minecraft world. For those of you who don't know, this is what the project looks like as of 2020. So let's jump straight into this. And by the looks of it, we can officially call this the oldest version of Kingdoms of Greymane ever. I mean, there is literally nothing, guys. Nothing but the original landscape, which is pretty insane just to think that this project is practically what started my entire YouTube career. And guys, get this. I just found my first attempt at building a custom-made tree. I hope you guys are ready for this. Ta-da! <laughs> it literally looks like a piece of broccoli stuck inside a toilet roll. <laughs> the reason I find this so funny is because I've been reading some of your comments and many of you guys wanted me to criticize and compare my old creations to my newest ones. And there's just nothing I can say about this. It's pretty much just horrendous. Now the tree did get better over time, but it still looks incredibly strange. And in the end, I just scrapped this whole idea and built a separate project for this a few years later. So next on the list, we have Empire Map Copyright Version. At first, I had no idea what this meant, but I've taken a look around and it's actually one of my first ever World Painter maps. And let me just say, it's a pretty bad one. But what I found really funny was the fact I opened the project on World Painter and found these massive logos right in the middle of the ocean. Hence the name copyright version. I was actually so paranoid about people stealing my work on planet Minecraft that I used to hide these giant logos within the map. And no, I don't do this anymore, so don't expect any massive logos on any of my latest projects. Okay, so next up we have Pandora. I have absolutely no clue what this is, but we're going to find out. Whoa, <laughs> that loaded in practically five seconds. I'm just hoping that this is not just another world painter map. But let's take a look around, and it seems like we have a huge chunk error. Oh, okay, there might be something here, guys. We might be in luck. Okay, not gonna lie, I've taken a look around this map, and all I found was this huge redstone contraption. Like, out of all possibilities, this was the last thing on my mind. But honestly, it would even make Mumble Jumbo so jealous. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I have absolutely no idea what this is, and it's probably the worst redstone contraption I've ever made. The question is, how do we get this to work? It seems like putting a minecart on top of these tracks might actually just trigger this, but I just don't understand where it starts, where I'm supposed to place the minecart. What does this lead to, actually? Okay, now who puts a lever on the side of a mountain? It's like so far away. Did that even do anything? Like, I can't seem to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't even see the point in all these redstone repeaters. But there goes the minecart, and it seems like we have ourselves... <laughs> what is even going on right now? I must have been seriously bored when I built this. Guys, it's still going. I don't know what to say about this. I guess it's just one giant firework display with some messy water mechanics. I don't know. What do you think of this? I mean, it definitely turned out to be a bit more interesting than I thought it was going to be. So next in line, we have a Minecraft world called Building Tutorials. Now, I'm just so glad I found this because, guys, this is my very first proper Minecraft house. And I know it's a pretty decent house for how old it is, but trust me, it took me weeks to build. You can even see just how many times I failed at building my first house from all the ruins scattered across the map. But there is definitely a few things I absolutely hate about this house, and it's the blocky windows as well as the flat surface walls. But apart from that, let's jump into the interior, which I'm pretty sure I did finish building. You know what, guys? I don't want to spend too much time on this, so I'll just put a free download link in the description, and maybe you guys could even transform my first Minecraft house. Just tag me on Instagram, and I'll definitely go and check it out. 
So next up we have 227 subscribers, but I'm not gonna waste my time on this because there's practically nothing built on this map. But at least it's nice to know how many subscribers we had at this point in time. The next two Minecraft worlds contain my first attempts at building a medieval castle, so this is going to be interesting. The first castle I ever built was actually called the Dark Pinnacle, but you know what I find really strange about all this? It's just the fact that you expect your old builds to look all epic, but then as soon as you reopen them for the first time in 8 years, you soon realize that it practically looks nothing like you remembered it. I mean, let's be honest, compared to my current standard, this castle is just terrible. And trust me, this only looks better because I'm using shaders, because without shaders, this looks a hundred times worse. I mean, there's like redstone lamps inside of windows, glowstone all over the place, the towers look really awkward, there's barely any detail, and it's just funny to see how back then, I literally thought this was like the best castle ever made. Now the second castle I built was on a world called Time Lapse Kingdom. The crazy thing about this build is the fact I had to choose between Kingdoms of Greymane or this project. Of course in the end I stuck to Kingdoms of Greymane, but it would have been really interesting to see how this project would have turned out if I actually spent 8 years building on this world instead. I actually think this castle is a lot better than the last one despite the fact it's still not finished. But besides that, if you guys want to get your hands on all my Minecraft worlds, be sure to check out my website. I honestly, honestly did not think this video was going to take as long as it has. So I'll continue with this in part 2 if you guys are interested. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.